Good morning everybody and welcome to Rome! We made it here yesterday after a pretty long train journey and just wait to see where we are. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. <gasps> Bam! <laughs> We are at the Colosseum. We've just got off the bus. We're heading to our meetup point for our guided tour today of the Colosseum. And oh my God, we're buzzed. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. That is 2000 years of history standing right there. I'm so excited to get inside and hear what our guide has to say. On a side note, it is quarter to nine in the morning and it is such a nice temperature. In Venice, we were scalded by this time in the day. So this is lovely to just be really comfortable and just really chill. I am hoping that this temperature will last for the whole day. If it doesn't, I have my umbrella. I'm gonna be one of those people who uses an umbrella to get shade. We're set up, we have our audio guide, cute little headphone, and our tour is ready to go. So down here is where they used to keep the gladiators and the wild animals before they came up onto the floor to fight. We're making our way towards the Roman Forum. So this sign says Via Sacra. It is the main street of ancient Rome. We're literally walking through history. pictures here and actually do it justice. I know, I was thinking the same thing. I'm sure Sinead has already given you this tip, but umbrella would be a good idea. Just looking at the marble structures is actually unbelievable to think what they were part of, what stood here. We're leaving behind the Roman Forum and we are heading towards the Trevi Fountain. Alright friends, we're at the Trevi Fountain, which is the oldest Baroque monument in ancient Rome. It's insane, it's so beautiful. We hear this long and look this good, it's absolutely amazing. So if you didn't know, it is custom to take a coin and throw it using your right hand over your left shoulder and it's supposed to mean that you will make it back to Rome. Okay. We were also recommended some homemade gelato by our guide, so I've no doubt it's going to be good if recommended by a local. So I've been loving trying different flavours. This one today is coconut and banana and it is delicious. Now we're moving on to the next stop, the Pantheon. Yesterday when we came here, it was actually raining. They had the whole center cordoned off because if you look up here, that is an open air dome. <laughs> that is an open air dome and the rain actually does come through. I will insert the clips from the rain yesterday so you can see what it's like for yourself. Bloody slippy. They have this area cordoned off here because it's actually wet in the center. That's a literal hole in the roof where the rain is actually coming in. How cool. There are currently drops falling on my head. <laughs> Lovely sunny Rome right now. Severe hailstones. My God. The rain has stopped. Thankfully, 
it is actually starting to brighten up out there. It's so funny how the weather goes here. It literally goes from 40 degree heat to torrential downpour and hailstones. It's really cool though, but now we are gonna go out and grab some food. We're both absolutely epic and starving. Not gonna lie, epic starving. We are definitely going to get a pizza tonight. You can't come to Rome and not try pizza. So that's on the agenda, but God, let's go please, cause yeah. yeah. Nothing like some fake food to whet your appetite. We're taking the scenic route to try and find the Spanish steps because I personally love walking cities and I love just touring around and seeing all the different architecture and everything and kind of getting lost down back alleyways and stuff. So I think getting Ubers and taxis everywhere, you really lose the feel and the spirit of a city. Let's be real, folks. On holiday, we're gonna want to walk off all that food. So, yeah. I think we've come to see the Spanish steps at a really beautiful time. The glow and the colors are gorgeous from the sun. It's actually probably one of the more romantic places that we visited. Actually the whole lot of us are just up here watching the guys with their roses trying to sell them to people. Everybody be aware. <laughs> be aware that if you get handed a rose in Rome they're not giving them to you for free. They want money. And you can't just be polite either. Just no, saying just no. throw it on the ground and walk away. Like seriously. It probably sounds really rude, but it is just it's the way it is where you're going to get ripped off massively. And people are, we're just literally watching people get stung with it all the time. It's sad to watch. Yeah. Such a nice area this time of night. We've got some great shops around this square as well. There's Sephora, we've got Dior. There's loads of nice shops. Tani, do you want to do a spot of shopping yeah, for me? I just want a spree. <laughs> We're about to head back to our hotel. Tomorrow we are heading to Naples and to see Pompeii, which I'm so excited about. We were going to do a tour, but we decided against it. We're gonna brave it and figure it out ourselves. We've made it this far, we're gonna keep it going. So I will end the vlog there, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed our trip to Rome as much as we did. We have another evening here tomorrow. We're gonna to make it as great as we possibly can. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I can't wait to chat to you in my next video. Bye!